What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So I just want to take the time to say thank you to, to everyone who took a look at my last video, who left comments and support. That was just so totally amazing. Um, I wasn't expecting so many comments, feedback, words of encouragement. It was just really, really awesome. Um, the big thing for me too is I just recently found this YouTube community and the community has been awesome. Just so much positive support. I just feel so lucky to have found this just in time that I'm going through this. Um, it was really helpful for me just to, to get that feedback, get that support, get that encouragement. Um, it just really fired me up, made me want to get back into it, make more videos, do more things, um, you know, even given everything that's going on. So that was just awesome and thank you so, 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 so very much. I really do appreciate it. So I haven't actually had a chance to fly since the videos I put out the other day. It's just really hard for me to get out there. I still want to do it. I still want to fly, but it just takes some planning. Um, I basically spend 22 hours a day with my foot elevated, laying down, making sure it doesn't swell up too much. So um, I need to balance my desire to fly and make videos with the desire to just heal up and get better. Um, and I'm trying to find that balance. It's just less videos, more healing, right? So today what I want to do is I actually want to fire up the simulator and start working on those inverted yaw spins. I've never tried those before. They look like a whole lot of fun. I love the way they look in videos. I feel like I can mentally picture what's going on in my head. Um, so I figured let's get open the simulator. It's a little bit easier for me to sit here, elevate my foot on something, make sure the blood's still flowing correctly, um, do the practice there. And then once I work up to it, you know what? That hell whoop should be pretty good at doing inverted yaw spins. Um, ideally, I'd be able to go to some place a little bit more open so when I mess up, I can uh, recover better. But, you know, I'm sort of confined right now, so I'll do it in the backyard and hopefully not crash too hard into my house. Um, but anyway, let's fire up uh, DRL Simulator and let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Whoa. Uh -oh. will be fun. All right, now those inverted yaw spins. So I think the first thing I want to practice is just getting the motion of the roll over an object because I know I want to start with that, right? So the idea is basically to launch myself in the air, make sure I get some of that hover, and then that's when I'll do the yaw spin. Like So like this tree, for example, I want to do it fast. I want to do like a fast half snap. Or uh, I want to do a fast like snap to the left. Let's try that again. Let's go to the same tree. So I pull up. That looks good. Whoa! So my timing seems all right there. Let's make sure, let's do it to the right. Go away, BIOS. Go away. Hey. All right, and now let's just try, let's try mixing in a little bit of that, uh, that yaw spin at the top here, so. I'm gonna try doing a coordinated yaw spin. So go here, punch, lift. Whoa, what just happened? All right, definitely not right. So let's see. Let's try just doing yaw this time instead of coordinated. So go up here, flip, yaw, flip. All right, I think that actually looks better. I don't know why. Let's try it again. Feels like I have no idea where I'm pointed when I do that yaw spin. So let's try it again. Let's do it over here. All right, that's close. I didn't like the way I came out of it at the end, but let's try it again. Let's 
try it off of the right, see how that looks. I think that might actually look better. Let's keep doing it. You know what? I feel like I'm starting to get the, the hang of these inverted uh, yaw spins. I think the key for me is really making sure that I get the craft flat. Oops. So that the angle is right. Because what I want is basically when I was upside down, I want something like that where I'm looking down. And therefore when I spin, I can see the object that I'm on top of the whole time. Right? And that's what kind of gives it that good look right there. Versus what I was doing before is if I just keep leaning and then do it, it, it just, it, well, I was wrong. So, versus if I keep the forward look, go upside down and then spin, I get like this weird look at the sky, look at the ground, look at the sky thing. Where really I want to be looking at the, at the ground the whole time and see the object that I'm floating over. And that's kind of what I like. So let's do it over here. So pull back, one flat, go, spin, spin, and there. Now let's do it to make sure I'm going straight. Not quite, so. So it's not perfect, but... I feel like I'm cutting close. All right, so after getting a little bit of flying in in the simulator, I took it outside to try in the backyard with the Hell Whoop. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with the Hell Whoop is the camera angle is almost non-existent. It's real hard to get that thing to have an angle right with the TPU mount that it has. Um, sometimes it's about zero degrees and sometimes it gets up to maybe 20 degrees. And for that reason, I knew that when I was doing the inverted yaw spin, I wouldn't quite have that look that I was looking for where you're looking at the ground. But that's all right. You know, I really just need the, the five inch, the three inch, the four inch um, to get outside and really see that that look that I want, but for now I can at least practice the movements with the hell boot. So I decided to take the same sort of approach that I was taking um, in the simulator, and that's get used to the timing of just flipping over 180. Um, the timing in the simulator is not the same as my real drones, and so I started to work up a little bit of muscle memory in the simulator, but then that doesn't correlate to the muscle memory in the drone. Don't really like that, but you know that was what was going on. So I just made a bunch of passes. This is all on one battery at the start. Um, just a bunch of passes, just go up, flip over, make sure I'm getting that 180 degree snap. Um, you see here, over and over again, I'm kind of missing it. Um, but once I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of about where it should go 180, I decided to go for it and do the yaw spin. And, you know, kind of to my surprise, the first time I did that yaw spin, it felt pretty good. Um, I was able to kind of keep track of where my head was at. I think one thing that helps is it feel like the yaw speed is not the same as the roll speed in the simulator, even though I have them set the same. But on the Hell Whoop, it is, so it felt like that muscle memory was a little bit more accurate on the, on the yaw. So I went up, flipped over, spun around, looked forward. I was pretty happy with that. I didn't expect it to be quite so simple to just pick up, give it a shot, and see everything working. So I was really happy with how that turned out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. I had a lot of fun trying to learn the inverted yaw spin. I can't wait to get outside into a real park with some real trees, fly up over those trees, do that inverted yaw spin. I think it'll be really cool. Uh, once I'm feeling better, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. In the meantime, I can probably break out that simulator, learn a few more new tricks, have a few more things in my arsenal for that time I do get out to the field. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I encourage you guys who aren't doing these tricks, get out there, learn it in the simulator, learn it in the real world, try new things, be adventurous. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun with this hobby. Hope you guys are too. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace!